And an Australian computer model is helping weather forecasters better determine the path and strength of cyclones. The model got its first test run during Cyclone Grant, which formed over the top end last month. And researchers say it beats international competitors, ensuring that we get more warning if a cyclone as strong as Tracy ever threatens Darwin again. Anthea Kissel reports. This is the equivalent of a crystal ball in the meteorology world. Computer modelling systems that predict the path of destructive tropical cyclones. The technology is becoming more and more effective. The forecast error of, uh, uh, of tracks at 24 hours has halved in the last 15 years. And so we've seen very substantial increases in inaccuracy. As Cyclone Grant bore down on the Northern Territory coast last month, forecasters used, for the first time, an Australian-produced model developed in Melbourne. We have to make a decision about what models we're going to include in our, in our evaluation of the risk, what best track we think will, will happen, and then what, what the general uncertainty is. The Bureau says the Australian system was the best performer out of a collection of models used during Cyclone Grant. Predictions 48 hours from major storms are now twice as accurate as they were 10 years ago. One of the outstanding challenges that we face in tropical cyclone research is forecasting the intensity and changes of intensity and there's been progress over the last 20 years but it's really one of the ways ahead is around this very high resolution mon uh, modelling. Northern Australia is a magnet to those trying to solve the mystery of cyclones. International researchers say modelling systems could still be improved. Focusing on the importance of the convection or the thunderstorms, the deep uh, um, convective clouds in um, storms, which are not really predictable elements. The model's accuracy will again be tested when the next cyclone looms. Anthea Kissel, ABC News, Darwin.